Welcome. The topic of this lesson is prime numbers and prime factors. Lesson duration is still 5 minutes. Let's see our lesson objectives. By the end of this lesson, you should be able to 1. Identify prime numbers using the sieve of Eratosthenes. 2. Express prime factors of whole numbers using the index notation. 3. Solve problems involving prime factors. Let us now begin. A prime number is a whole number which has only two factors. 1 and itself as shown on the board. All the numbers colored in red are examples of prime numbers. Note that 1 is not a prime number because it has only one factor itself. So, 2, 3, 5, 7 and 11 are all prime numbers. Let us now learn how to identify prime numbers using Eratosthenes' sieve. Eratosthenes was a Greek mathematician who developed a method of finding the primes of a set of numbers called the sieve. On the board are a set of numbers from 1 to 120. To identify the prime numbers amongst them, we use the sieve method, which involves the following steps. 1. Strike out with blue strokes, all numbers divisible by 2. 2. Strike out with green strokes, numbers divisible by 3. 3. Strike out with red strokes, numbers divisible by 5. And 4. Strike out with yellow strokes, numbers divisible by 7. The numbers left on the right are the prime numbers identified. Let us see some examples. Example 1. Find the prime numbers between 1 and 50 using the sieve of Eratosthenes. Solution. List the numbers from 1 to 50 and then apply the sieve method. 1. Cross out all numbers divisible by 2 except 2. 2. Cross out the remaining numbers divisible by 3 except 3. 3. Cross out the remaining numbers divisible by 5 except 5. 4. Cross out the remaining numbers divisible by 7 except 7. Now, the numbers left in square boxes are the prime numbers found between the numbers 1 and 50. That's brilliant. Now, pause this video, write these numbers in your notebook, and find their prime numbers using the SIP method. When a number is expressed as a product of two whole numbers, these whole numbers are called factors. For example, 2 times 3 equals 6. So, 2 and 3 are factors of 6. If these factors are prime, they are called prime factors. For example, 2 and 3 are prime and also factors. Therefore, they are prime factors. Any whole number, except 1, can be expressed as a product of its prime factors. For example, 6 equals 2 times 3. 12 equals 2 times 2 times 3. 16 equals 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. And 20 equals 2 times 2 times 5. Let's see the index notation. We use the index notation to show repeated multiplication of the same number. For example, when the number 2 is multiplied 5 times, as shown on the board, we can use the index notation to write it as 2 to the power of 5. Note that 2 to the power of 5 equals 32. Let us solve some problems. Example 2. Find the prime factors of 60. Giving your answer in index form. Solution. 60 equals 2 times 30 equals 2 times 2 times 15 equals 
2 times 2 times 3 times 5 equals 2 power 2 times 3 times 5. So, 60 equals 2 power 2 times 3 times 5 in index form. That's good. Now, pause this video, write these numbers in your notebook, and find their prime factors, leaving your answers in index form. In summary, we have been able to learn the following in this lesson. 1. How to identify prime numbers, using the SIV method. 2. How to express prime factors of whole numbers, in index form. And 3. How to solve problems, involving prime factors. I hope you enjoyed the class. See you, in the next lesson. Thanks and goodbye.